Welcome back. I'm here with Emily Coppler, the designer and founder of Wayming, your own personal label. Yeah. And you're one of St. Louis's own. Yes. Born and raised here. Born and raised. Yeah. And but making a living as a fashion designer right here in the Midwest. Yeah, yeah. It you can do it. <laughs> I know. I mean it's it's great and you're part of St. Louis Fashion Week mm -hmm. and how many local designers are involved with St. Louis Fashion Week? Do you have any idea? I actually don't know. I just know um, the industry night that I'm involved with. Um, I think they've got four or five on the runway and then another four or five doing presentations before the runway show. Yeah. But they're doing stuff every single night, so yeah. there's got to be like, you know, probably Lots. 40 or 50 <laughs> designers well, that's involved. That's what it's all about is yeah. promoting the local fashion. And So tell me how you started out in the industry and how you've been able to make it work from St. Louis. Well, um, I kind of, I mean, I started at a young age sewing and then working for um, companies around town. And mm -hmm. I actually went to school on the East Coast mm -hmm. um, and then started working first for uh, made department stores in town as an assistant designer. And then um, worked in New York for uh, most recently for Aeropostal, doing a lot of their um, knits, women's knits, mm -hmm. and then had also had experience working for Ralph Lauren and Vivian Tam. And then you decided to take it out on your own. Yeah, so my husband and I decided to move back to St. Louis. Mm -hmm. and my dream was always to have my own business and so I figured this is the time to do it. <laughs> so yeah. we start, I started a few years ago and it's been a lot of fun and a lot of work and you know just been growing every year since. So you've got a, per, would you say a personal style, a style that's, that's yours alone? Yeah, I mean, I think I have my own aesthetic and my own style, and mm -hmm. it probably comes across in the line. Um, yeah. You know, a lot of really clean lines, kind of uh, just like very fresh and feminine looks, but with a little bit of edge yeah. to to them. So and super comfortable looking too. Yeah, that's always seen. yeah, which is great. <laughs> always keep that in mind. Very wearable. Yeah. So Devin, who's one of the interns with St. Louis um, with a live magazine, yeah, with a live actually, magazine, she is here and she's going to show us one of your fashions. She's got a little model here. Yeah. So this is the Catherine dress, which is um, out now for fall and it's this great ponte fabric from Italy and it's just really really comfortable it's got pockets and we did a similar style last year and it was one of our best sellers we brought it back with color blocking and you know new color and yeah it just it's very comfortable very cute and I love that you have pockets yes I try to put pockets in wherever possible I love that. every girl I know loves pockets exactly it makes it so much easier to wear it and to not have to carry a bunch of other stuff yeah well and, you know it's not even that people use it for function it's more for like posing I feel like, oh, okay. you know, it's just, I mean, you can throw your lipstick and stuff in there. But I was, I so I'm a function girl, but yeah. there are the posing girls. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The yeah. street style girls. Yeah. So, and what, tell us about this. Yeah, so this is one of the best sellers for fall as well. It's called the Shaz dress. Mm -hmm. And um, again, it's made from Italian fabric. It's a really nice neoprene, which has, um, a lot of neoprene is like really heavy and stiff. And this has a little bit more drape to it. Um, but it's got, you know, really cute little nice cutout details, which are huge for the fall season. Yeah. And then a little bit higher neck. So even though the shirt or the skirt's shorter that you're a little bit more covered up on top. Yeah, yeah. And so where can St. Louisans find your fashions locally? Um, so locally I'm at Ivy Hill where we're having the yeah, talk show. Yeah, just talking to Ivy here. Hill. Um, Esther, which is in Ladue, mm -hmm. and then also at the Collective downtown. Okay. So you're, and do you have an online presence as well? Yeah, we actually just launched um, e-commerce. So waymingstudio.com and you can see everything from the line and the inspiration and any press that's been coming out so that's great can you buy on do you have a shop yeah or, yeah I mean, so you can we just launched that part of the website so now you can buy online if you can't find it in your yeah own so city. how much of your time as a designer do you spend working the business part of it because that's uh, gotta be that's like 95 percent of the the time and that's yeah. such a shame isn't it <laughs> yeah <laughs> the fun part is you know the designing and being creative but so much of it is you know handling production and sourcing things and you know figuring out the costs and it, that's also I enjoy a good spreadsheet but you know it's also <laughs> but, you know I think that's really interesting you know for designers anyone who's in the arts in general whether yeah. it's fashion or music or theater a good part of your time you have to <clears throat> delegate to the business oh yeah yeah I mean if you want to survive mm -hmm. <laughs> and be able to you know put food on the table or you know do this as a living, yeah. And, yeah, you need to know the the business part of yeah. it. Yeah, so those skills are super important and yeah. uh, hopefully something that you learned in design school and in college, but if not, you're learning along the way. Yeah, exactly. Well, I have a, um, an undergraduate in economics, so that helped oh, out there you a go. little Perfect. bit, yeah. Perfect, you were smart to get before, that. Before I decided to pursue design, I decided to get a little, you know, get the, the business econ part, background. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, good for you, that's Thanks. great. And so this week you'll be at St. Louis Fashion Week. Yeah, at the industry night, which is on Thursday. Mm -hmm. And um, Fern Malice, who uh, 
is basically the founder of New York Fashion Week is hosting, so it's going to be a huge night and yeah. a lot of fun. Yeah, so public can buy tickets. Uh, it's at Windows on Washington, yeah. and stlouisfashionweek.com is yeah. where all the information is. So it's a great way to get involved and see what's happening. And fashion in St. Louis, there's a lot going on. Yeah, it should be a lot of fun. And so. we're so proud to have you. Emily. Oh, thank you. So, well, thank you for having me. It's a lot Yeah, of fun. so glad to have you on the show. Um, and we have to take a break now, but coming up next, we're going to completely change subjects away from St. Louis Fashion, Fashion Week, but we're going to get the inside scoop on the Diversity Awareness Partnership. We'll be right back.